Hi Jackson friends, this is Miss Worth and today I'm going to do an outdoor nature chalk puzzle with you. So you're going to need two supplies in order to do this. You're going to need some chalk and you're going to need a bucket because you're going to have to collect things from outside in nature like leaves and sticks. So you're going to need something to carry them in. So I'm going to go on an adventure with you to find things around my yard to use for my puzzle. All right, friends, so what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to take your bucket and you're going to have to walk around your house and outdoors and find things that we could use to put our puzzle together. So Miss Worth is picking some dandelions. I could use those in my puzzle. Let's see what else I can find. Ooh, if you have a rock driveway, maybe you can find some big rocks. Miss Worth's rocks are kind of small, but I'm going to pick just a couple up because they might be helpful to fill in my puzzle. Let's see what else we can find. Ooh, I could use this. This is a stick that's already broken off a tree. I could use that and break it for my puzzle. I'm gonna put that in my bucket. And look at how full my bucket's getting. Miss Worth also found some leaves. I found a flower leaf that fell off. Let's see what else I can find. Ooh, we just mowed our yard. Maybe you mowed your yard too. You could use some of the grass clippings. I'm gonna pick up a little pin couple little pinches of grass from the yard that we mowed. Anything that you find around your yard that you don't have to break off a tree. We don't wanna hurt trees. We don't wanna hurt flowers. Miss Worth found some more flower petals that look like the birds accidentally broke them off. I'm going to collect those. Oh, I found another stick. This will be good. Anything I can use. Ooh, look at this. One of my birdies took part of my plant, but I'm going to use these flower petals. All right, now my bucket's pretty full, so I'm going to go back and see if I can do my puzzle. Oop, Oakley, what do you have? Thank you for the rock. Here we go. Okay, friends, so I just got back to a sidewalk, <laughs> and we are going to take our piece of chalk and draw a shape. So Miss Worth made a heart in pink, and then over here I'm going to make a little small triangle. You can make whatever shape you'd like, but it has to be a shape that we can put stuff inside of because that's the puzzle part. Here, Oakley, would you like the yellow? Okay, so now I have all of these things from nature that I'm going to use to make a puzzle inside these shapes. So I'm gonna try and fill in the triangle first, my friends. So I'm gonna find a few things. I'm gonna take this rock that I found and put it in there. I can't go over the edges. I've gotta use all of my things from nature to try and fill in the puzzle. Hmm. Looks like that leaf might be a little big. I'm going to break it since it was already broken on the ground. There we go. Ooh, that's a nice edge. No, no, Oakley. Um, I'm going to put this other one over here, staying inside the lines. That's the hard part about it. Ooh, I'm going to use some of these dandelions. These will be pretty in my puzzle. Okay. Ooh, Oakley, what do you have? Do you want to use this big rock? Okay. Thank you, Oakley. That was a good help. All right, let's see. Oh, I found some little pine cones, my friends. These will be good for my puzzle. Ooh, those make good edges. They're nice and straight. I'm going to use this leaf to fill in that little gap. How about another dandelion? Oh, I've got some more grass. Because I mowed the yard. Ooh, I forgot about these beautiful flower petals. I think this will fit perfect right here. And I need one more small thing. Let's see. Ooh, there we go. So I did my triangle puzzle. Now, friends, you can take and pull all of that stuff off your puzzle and try and do another shape. So Miss Worth is going to work on her heart. I'll see you at the end when I finish my heart. All right, friends, and here I am. I used all of the things from my bucket except one little rock. And I took all the things off my first puzzle and I did another puzzle and this one is a heart shape. So you can see Miss Worth used some sticks. I used that bark that we found that fell off my tree. 
I use some pine cones, dandelions, grass, leaves. They take up a lot of space. Those are good. So you can do nature puzzles. Oh, thank you for helping clean up, Oakley. You can do nature puzzles as something fun to play outside. Bye, friends.